Al-Shabaab, the militant group which carried out the deadly attack on a shopping mall in the Kenyan capital, has been looking to Minneapolis in the U.S. to recruit Somali-American fighters. But the community of about 32,000 there is fighting back with weapons like art and spoken word poetry. Old age is unnoticed, the youth unfocused. Al-Shabaab trying to tell you they'll bring change, but only if you hold this. But I'm holding peace in one hand and freedom on the other. Abdi Phenomenal's spoken word poetry is designed to channel frustration away from Al-Shabaab and towards something more positive. He is part of Kajug, an outreach group working with youth susceptible to recruitment to extremist groups like Al-Shabaab. The, the word Kajug means to stay away and stay out. And the message behind that is get young folks, youth, to stay away from not only Al-Shabaab and terrorist acts, but also gang violence. The group tracks Somali youth from high school through adulthood and intervenes at the first sign of trouble. Law enforcement have also partnered with the group and they say that the efforts of Kajug may be working as the flow of fighters from Minneapolis overseas seems to be waning. It's very essential because without engagement with the community, law enforcement's efforts are, are simply not enough. We need to have the engagement of the community, we need to have buy-in, we need to have trust. At least 20 young Somali men from Minnesota are thought to have joined Al-Shabaab since 2007. And Abdul Karim Ahmed, who has lived in Minnesota for about 30 years, says the U.S. and the international community ignores Al-Shabaab at its own risk. This country is a vulnerable. Anybody can come in and out, do whatever they want. So as long as you ignore them, you will have a problem in the long run. The attack on the mall in Kenya left at least 67 people dead, and Al-Shabaab have said they targeted foreigners and non-Muslims in the mall. The investigation is still ongoing, but some of the militants are suspected of being foreigners.